Who wants them? Who wants them? Ooh, let me finish plating. I'll be right back. Hey guys, it's your girl Sweet Keto Soul, and today we're coming. I'm coming at you with a quick meal. We're gonna have some Tuscan salmon with some asparagus. I've already went ahead on and prepped it. I got the salmon all clean. I had it marinating overnight. I have all my ingredients laid out. So yeah, let's get this party started. Who's hungry? I know I am. I know before we always came back with those quick, fun, and fast meals. So that's what I'm doing for you today. Let's go, y'all. Hey guys, so as you can see, these are the ingredients. This is my olive oil that I'm gonna use when I sear the uh, salmon. This is the spinach, one of the ingredients. This is the uh, heavy whipping cream that we use, tomatoes, Parmesan cheese, onions, garlic, and these are all the other seasonings. I'm gonna drop some butter in there to also help with the searing process. So yeah, let's get this party started. And over here is my asparagus. I've already cut off the uh, ends and I've already cleaned it. And I'm going to uh, be baking that or either air frying. So yeah, let's go, I'm excited. Now I'm gonna add some olive oil. This is about a tablespoon and a half. Now I'm gonna add the butter and I'm gonna let this melt down and let this get hot. I'm using my cast iron pan and I wanna get a great sear on the back of this salmon. Okay, while the pan is getting hot, let me add some seasoning to this salmon. This is some kosher salt, some garlic powder, some onion powder and black pepper. Now let me go ahead and do the other side. Okay, this bad boy is nice and hot, so I'm gonna put this face down. Ooh, you hear that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what we want. That's the sound you wanna hear. Let me add a little olive oil to this asparagus. Let's get that a mix around. You wanna make sure that it's nice and coated. I'm gonna sprinkle a little Parmesan cheese. And then just before I put in the air fryer, I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper and a little onion powder. So let me check the salmon. Ooh, yes, look at that. That is coming along very nicely. Now I want the bottom, is it just like the top? And we are about to rock and roll here. Okay, guys, so the salmon is done. I'm now going to add the rest of your ingredients. I'm going to switch out pots. I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients. And then I'm going to put the salmon back in. And this bad boy is almost done. Okay, guys, so now it's time to work on the sauce for this Tus Tuscan salmon. I'm adding some tomatoes. These are grape tomatoes. And I'm gonna add some onion, adding some minced garlic, and all the amounts that I use will be in the description. So guys, with Tuscan, you know, sauces, you can have so many varieties to this. You can use fresh onion. I use chopped onion today. Let me start adding the heavy whipping cream. You can use sun-dried tomatoes. You can use Roma tomatoes. I chose grape tomatoes. So again, you know, there are so many variations to this dish. So as this starts to thicken up the heavy whipping cream, you know, you could add, uh, you know, different thickeners, keto friendly thickeners. We use uh, exanthone gum, but you know, I just chose just to use heavy whipping cream. You can always add more because again, this is going to thicken on its own. And I'm going to add a little Parmesan cheese to this. And again, you can use fresh Parmesan cheese. I just use what I had on hand. So let's spice this bad boy up and let's add these uh, red pepper flakes. Ooh. Now let's add the final ingredient, the spinach, because you know spinach cooks down very fast. Alrighty, so now I'm going to actually put some on top of the salmon because this is just about done. Look at how it thickened up, guys. Doesn't it look good? It's so creamy. So I'm gonna put a lid on and let this simmer for a few more minutes. 
and let it finish sealing and all the juices and let the cream finish thickening. Okay guys, so I've already went ahead on and sprayed some um, spray oil on the pan. I'm gonna stick these bad boys in the oven on 425 for about 10 minutes. And yeah, they should be nice and golden brown. Let's go. Oh wow, guys, look. They are doing their thing. You hear them sizzling? Hey guys, so this, this dish is almost done and I'm about to plate it for you guys, but I just want to, you know, talk to you a few minutes and see, you know, for those that, uh, you know, watched the last video that went up, the chicken and waffles, has anyone given it a try? I promise you that is worth a try. And you know, it, it really has hit me, uh, uh, the familiar feelings that I have being back, how much I enjoy cooking like this again. I really missed it and I'm just so thankful that I'm back. I feel so much better. And all I wanna do is continue to come on here, talk to you guys um, about keto. I plan on doing a video um, soon uh, just really breaking down the fundamentals of it and and so you'll have a clearer understanding why you why you will understand why I chose to you know make these modifications these substitutions so that I could still enjoy you know all those foods I was raised on you know my mom used to be in the kitchen you know cooking and burning and I still want to be able to do that but just healthier so guys yeah let me get this food started let me stop talking I'll be back oh my god look how they turned out just a little spray oil so a little olive oil and a little parmesan cheese guys they're gonna be delicious i can't wait to plate this be right back oh my god guys look look at this who wants some who wants some oh let me finish plating i'll be right back are you ready Tuscan salmon with asparagus and a little side of cauliflower rice. I'm coming back with so many more dishes, guys. I can't wait. I can't wait. Who wants some? Who wants some? Come and get it. Please try the recipe. As I promised, every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, you can expect to see more content, more great recipes, more keto-friendly dishes as I explore this keto world with you. My subscribers, please share. Please tell a friend to tell a friend. I appreciate you. I'm not going anywhere. I meant what I said. I'm here to stay. Let's go, y'all. Let's get it. Enjoy my recipes. Thank you. Yeah.